this is Lois DeWitt. I have on my website, freeonlineartclasses.com, uh, a series of very, very quick, short projects called Short and Sweet Art Projects. Um, I designed them mainly for kids' classes, but I found that um, other people like to do them too. Uh, just dip a toe in a certain kind of technique or skill, not take a whole lot of time to do it, and really come up with something very, very rewarding. So um, I'm going to do a, uh, one of those short and sweet art projects. Shouldn't take any more than just a few minutes, and um, it's lots of fun. First of all, you can see that um, I have a big sketchbook, um, and I have just taped off an area. I think it's about 8 by 9 inches. Uh, the way I did that is I'm using the blue masking tape. Um, I actually put a little talcum powder on that page just to make sure the tape didn't stick. So that's all ready to go. And then over here, I have this lovely little basket of apples. Apples I bought today, they smell really good. And what I'm going to be doing is sketching those apples first and then just shading it in very quickly with oil pastels. Now this is a very quick project. It's like a sketch or a study that you could do for a painting. And I want to show you how much you can get down in just a few minutes um, in, we're working this way. Here is my collection of oil pastels that I think I've been collecting oil pastels for several years. You don't need this many. Uh, you can go and get a really inexpensive set of oil pastels um, at just your local store like Walmart or an art supply store, your local art supply store or online. It can be just a set of 12 and this, this will be enough. Um, I think what I always say, like especially with kids, we have dealt, we have done this project with crayons, but I think oil pastels are a lot more rewarding. And then you can learn how to use oil pastels. They're a lot like painting. If you have some drawing skills, um, that, that would be helpful to get the, the apples and the basket down quickly. But if you haven't drawn much before, you can still have a lot of fun with this and still enjoy using the oil pastels and working in color. So I'm just taking a purple to begin with. It really doesn't matter. This is going to be a very colorful study. I'm doing the edge of the table right here. Basket is right about here. Just sketching it, sketching it in very quickly. There's the handle of the basket right there. And now I'll just sketch in the apples. It's important to get the, the drawing down first. Then you're so, sort of, um, it gives you confidence to proceed. And that's just as far as I wanna go with the initial sketch. You can see how really nicely oil pastels work as far as putting color down quickly. That's why many times if you're thinking of doing a painting and you want to do some studies, this is a, a really good way to work because it's a lot like painting with none of the, the oil paint um, and brushes and things like that. It's a good way of laying down the color to see how it's going to work in a painting. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do this, this um, kind of sketch. Now I'm going to do the background. Um, you certainly can change the colors uh, if you're so inspired. Um, um, I'm thinking the background here is kind of a cream color, but I think I'm going to start with a warmer color, a kind of a pink, um, with the idea that I'm going to go over it with um, another color and then maybe another color yet. Um, like, I think all of the colors are going to be altered that way. So first I'll just put down this basic pink. 
And then last, uh, oh, red, red for the apples, that's what they are, so. Add some yellow, and so the yellow and pink make kind of a nice orange. And again, this is just very, very sketchy. I may even put a little yellow into the, the brown here for the basket. Then I think I'm going to change the color of the table a little bit. Maybe make it kind of a gray. There's a shadow down here. Just sketch that in. See, see the, this gray color changes on the, the yellow that I put on. So now I have this sort of, it's almost a kind of a green. That's the, the shadow right there. Now I think I'm going to add a, a blue color to this table, just for contrast. I'm thinking that would be nice and maybe I'll go over it with the yellow again. Now, let's see what happens if we go over it with the yellow again. So it makes the blue that I just put down a little lighter and does change the color, doesn't it? Oil pastels can be layered many, many, many times. Uh, they are semi-transparent. So you, the color on the bottom will come through. This is a quick sketch. This isn't meant to be a real detailed drawing. It's, it's basically a color study. Um, and will give me an idea and, and inspire me maybe to do a painting. And I'm just I just really want to have a lot of fun with it. That's, that's my motivation. And many times when I work with people in this way, I just say, you know, have fun. Glory in the color that you're using. Have, have fun with it and inspire yourself. Don't try to uh, predict what what the outcome is going to be because then your creative impulses will be hampered. And in this kind of way of working freely like this, you really want to keep yourself surprised. Now I'm going to surprise myself by changing the color of the background a little bit right here. I'm thinking an orange might be nice. Maybe even bringing that in. To the basket, nice. yeah. vibrant color going. I think a bright, a nice bright green in here. Maybe bringing in it into the basket. Maybe even into the apples a little bit. The more you work with oil pastels, the more you'll realize that each color really has its own characteristics. They're not all the same. Some colors are more transparent than others. And the more you work with them, the more you will see how your options for interacting um, the, the colors, the, the colors, the color interaction will work for you. This is something that you just have to learn by doing. And it's fun. Now I've worked in some purple, which is blending really nicely with the other colors. This particular purple is a, a great way to go um, because it blends with the other colors so well. I can make some shadows here just using a slightly darker color. 
the purple is going to act differently on this rust color for the basket than it is for the tabletop. So even if I go over both of these color areas, the colors will change because of what's there already. Now this is a quick sketch, so I have to finish up pretty soon. I don't want to take too long. This is supposed to be a short, sweet art project. So you can see I've taken the masking tape off and and that's just a, a really nice way of, uh, it, it has a kind of a nice finished look to it. Um, and if I ever do want to frame it, um, I, I can do that. I have some pencil marks, but I can take those out. But that's my s short, sweet oil pastel sketch. I'm just coming in a little closer so you can see how the, all the colors, beautiful colors, that you can get from uh, using oil pastels.